Good evening, and welcome to Diagnosis Health. I'm your host, Paul Pashanitz. On tonight's episode, we speak with Mary Vukasevich from La Trobe School of Clinical Vision Science. Mary, thanks for coming on tonight's episode of Diagnosis Health. Hi, Paul. Thank you. Now, I understand you're working and doing research in the field of orthoptics. Mm -hmm. For those playing at home, can you tell us a little bit more about what is orthoptics and the importance of this um, allied health profession? Sure. As you say, orthoptics is an allied healthcare or an orthoptist is an allied healthcare professional mm -hmm. who's concerned with the diagnosis and management of eye movement disorders mm -hmm. and associated vision-related problems. So we uh, do the investigation, the diagnosis and sometimes treat uh, different eye movement disorders uh, and as, as you've said it's an allied health care professional and the main focus is eyes. Okay, now why is the, this, this, field of, of, this field of orthoptics so important? Um, it's really important because people are not often um, wanting to get their eyes checked mm -hmm. or don't see the importance of getting their eyes checked. Mm -hmm. We all have to make sure that our, our eyes are checked so that we maintain optimum vision. Mm -hmm. And one of the um, biggest problems in Australia is actually vision impairment caused simply by people not having the correct type of glasses on okay. or not having glasses at all. Okay. And also if you have a um, an inherited or a genetic problem, you can also uh, develop that and so it's important to be screened for those things too if there's someone in your family that has an eye problem as well. Interesting. Now in the area of research, you guys do a lot of research in, in the areas of orthoptics. We do, yeah. Could you tell us um, a little bit more about your area of expertise, which I understand is the whole Charles Bonnet um, syndrome or, or condition. Can you tell us a little bit more about that sort of stuff? Sure. Charles Bonnet, is, uh, Charles Bonnet syndrome is a very interesting condition in that it's visual hallucinations mm -hmm. that happens in psychologically normal people where they experience very bright vivid hallucinations of people, animals, bright um, kaleidoscope type patterns and these people as I said are psychologically normal. They haven't taken a hallucinogenic drug, they don't have a psychiatric disorder. It's purely as a result of their vision impairment that they're seeing these hallucinations. And what sort of visual hallucinations are we talking about here? Um, yeah, a wide variety of things. Mm -hmm. So one patient I have sees a dressing gown on a coat hanger floating in the air. Um, I've got another patient that experiences uh, a vision of a Scotsman in a kilt with bagpipes. It's a regular Saturday night in Melbourne, I it guess. Certainly, yes, it certainly is. So it could be anything, yeah. very brightly coloured, complicated patterns. Uh, now there's also has. another um, patient that you did see um, having some kind of sinister visual hallucinations caused by um, the Black Saturday bushfires or yeah, something? Yeah, that was an interesting case mm -hmm. where um, this lady had been experiencing Charles Bonnet for a number of years mm -hmm. and understood the condition, understood that um, there was nothing wrong with her psychologically mm -hmm. and d dealt quite well with it, wasn't frightened by her hallucinations. Mm -hmm. um, she'd see things like an elephant or you know something like that, yeah. trucks. Um, and then on Black Saturday they took a sinister turn so she was evacuated from her home as a result of the bushfires mm -hmm. and after that because of the stress of the um, Black Saturday she started hallucinating, she'd look at her um, her family members faces and they'd all be dripping like wax dripping mm -hmm. or they'd be sprouting very wiry hair her little dog who was short haired dog sprouted this very wiry hair and um, this went on for several days and it was the change was triggered by her stress levels as a result of the fires. Absolutely fascinating mm. research that you guys are doing there. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the other research, the School of Clinical Vision Science is actually doing? Yeah, we do quite a lot of stuff. It depends on our different interest areas, okay. of course. Um, my colleagues, um, Connie Koklanis, jo Zoran Georgievsky and Danielle Thorburn are, con are concerned with strabismus. Um, if, you, if you don't know, strabismus is a, an eye turn, so one eye turns in relation to the other, either in or out. So it's almost like cross-eyed. Yeah, like, like cross-eyed, okay, yeah. Sure. And so they're looking at um, practice patterns, mm -hmm. how orthoptists treat um, an eye turn, yeah. or um, they're also investigating how children perceive other children with an eye turn or children that might wear a patch. And um, my other colleague, Linda Molesic, does uh, research in the area of glaucoma. Okay. And she's currently investigating something called pseudo-exfoliation, which is like little dandruff flakes in the front of the eye, around the iris, the blue or the brown part of your eye. I never knew that eyes could get dandruff. They can. Fascinating. Well, thank you very much, Mayor, for coming to tonight's show. Thank you.
Well, that's all we've got time for tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'm your host, Paul Bushnitz. Thank you.